As for a total shutdown, it is always on the table. You know, a total shutdown is always on the table. Because depending on, what, um, on how we see the progress, depending on how we monitor uh, the situation, then, and also we are monitoring with the Ministry of Interior to see how, to what extent, the public is following the, the, the guidelines along uh, the guidelines that we have given. At the point where we think that uh, the danger is enhanced, then you take the necessary, the, the committee, we will debate and take the necessary steps. The attention at the airport, I can assure you, there is serious vigilance, serious vigilance. And even if you look at the social media, even persons who have, who have traveled through Dubai, persons who have traveled through London, they will tell you that in their travels, where they are getting the most serious checks is actually here in Nairobi. So um, there is no, we have not in any way relaxed our surveillance, both through all ca our cameras, thermal scanners, and so on and so forth. And sometimes you can walk in and think that you are not scanned. I assure you, you are scanned. The case of a passenger in an ambulance, it's, it's, that's a detail I would not uh, know right now. I'm sure that's the only one, he's not the only one who is in an ambulance. There must be a number of uh, people from different places in an ambulance. And therefore, I will wait for the technical people to give that detail. We are working very, very closely with the private sector. And uh, we are very happy with, uh, with what they are doing. The business community has come together. And uh, I believe in the coming uh, couple of uh, days, we will be having a joint con press conference with them. And of course, there is the issue of addressing the economy. And that's why we are trying to take baby steps in seeing what we can do to mitigate you know, our economic um, uh, situation. As for the sanitizers, let me tell you how to bring down the costs. Let me advise Kenyans how to bring down the costs of sanitizers. Buy soap and wash your hands. If you bring down the demand, you know, it, it demand follows supply. When the supply is limited, what happens is that the price go up. And as much as we are trying to, um, to tell these people, bring these prices down, we are asking the Ministry of Water, and indeed um, uh, we can confirm that um, CS for Water, Sicily Karaoke, has already started to ensure that they are putting water points in as many places in this town and in the country as possible. Uh, the CS in water has also confirmed that he is asking all water companies who have uh, shut down water because of uh, bills, because of uh, um, certain mechanical issues, that we address those issues as county governments, as national government. If you people have not paid bills at this time, please understand, open those taps. We will talk about the money later. Right now, we are talking about life and death. Let's deal with the money later. Open the taps. And Cicely Karaoke has said this is exactly what uh, she is trying to get, uh, to get done. So if people use soap, simple washing of soap with, wash your hands with soap, we are asking supermarkets, we know that uh, you sell these sanitizers, but please also provide water points so that people can wash their hands with soap. And if they do that, the demand for sanitizers will come down. Meanwhile, we are telling those who produce them to produce them en masse so that they, we can flood the market with them, since our people are simply not listening when we tell them to bring them down. Yes, two more only. Yes, maybe you can ask and I'll take the two. Uh, what 
understand in 2015 you'll be going to West Africa.